Lenovo's Legion laptops are some of the best performing devices in their class, and they're very popular for good reason. Uh, so they have a bunch of new ones. Lenovo and Intel want to sponsor this video so you guys can get an early look at these two. This is the Legion 7i. This is the Legion Pro 7i, and they're marketed a little bit differently this year. So this product here, the Pro 7i, still we're gonna get the most powerful hardware for the best performance for competitive gamers, but this product, the regular Legion 7, is a little bit different this year. This replaces the slim monocured product. Uh, it's just, uh, it's kind of like a hybrid product where it's built to be really good for enthusiast gamers, but also still has the styling and weight characteristics of like a more normal laptop. It's not like super gamery, it's thinner and lighter than the pro product. But let's dive in. So this device is where I'm gonna start, the new regular Legion 7. This device is, well, First of all, it's color. They've had white laptops in the Legion product line before, but they were never available in North America. I think they were like region specific. This is the first time I've seen a white laptop from the Lenovo Legion line. It looks awesome. Like this is, it's so clean. Like it's just pure white. The keys are white. The bottom panel is also white. Like everything is just super white. Even the rubber strips on the bottom. These things might get slain if you're using it on like really dirty materials, but very white laptop, and I love the look of it. It's an all new design where they focus on keeping the device thin and light, but they also increase the system wattage and the overall performance, which is really difficult to do. The way you would do it though, is by tackling the thermal system. So this here is the predecessor of that product. This is last year's Legion Slim 7. And if you look at the thermal system here, cold air gets sucked in and then it gets exhausted at the sides and the back. This is a very kind of standard thermal design on a lot of laptops, but the thermal system on the Legion 7 is a little bit different. So if you look at the back panel here, you'll notice a bunch of vents, but when you open this up and you look at it, you'll realize that half of these vents are covered up, maybe even more than half. And there's also, there's foam outline here, and there's also foam elements here. And the purpose of this kind of covering and these foam pieces that they're creating a middle section here that they call the hyper chamber. It's a sealed off section so that the airflow is driven in a very particular way. So the air will come in through the, the fans here, just being sucked in. And then there's obviously some that blows out the back here, but there's a huge chunk of air that's blown across the middle into the sealed section. And then it goes out the back. So if you'll notice this whole device has no side ventilation, but all of the ports or all of the exhausts are on the back. Like basically the entire back segment is an exhaust. And the difference it makes is surprisingly significant. They've been able to increase wattage and performance while having measurably lower temperatures and quieter fans. All in the same kind of form factor and weight class as before. It's really well done. Now granted, this is a early kind of pre retail version of this. So I'm imagining there's like more tuning involved, but first impressions, pretty good. Uh, now the Legion Pro 7i still has the same thermal design as the previous generation that uses a vapor chamber, which is a little bit beefier, but very effective. Now, both of these devices are running Intel's new 14th gen core processors, which for my testing on these early samples is only a slight bump up in performance compared to the 13th gen. But if you want the highest possible CPU performance, these are the chips to do it. And because they are overclockable in Lenovo software, you can let them rip at full blast. There's a lot of control in that software, uh, but there's also a new chip from Intel out right now called the Meteor Lake Core Ultra chips. And those are very cool. They're very energy efficient, but they don't have the same kind of top end performance as these devices. If you want like just the best possible CPU performance, these are still the kings. And so if you're looking at these products and you're like, you're trying to decide between the two, if you're just playing like, mid-tier gaming, uh, or if you're kind of like kind of medium content creation, you don't really need the fastest CPU, that stuff is great. But if you want like literally the best possible performance you can get in laptops, you do have to get one of these chips still. They're a little more power hungry, but they get the job done. The pro models can be configured with up to an RTX 4090. The regular models can go up to an RTX 4070. Now, when it comes to battery life, both of these devices are very good for their product class because they both have very big batteries, the biggest battery you can get, but these are gaming laptops with performance focused chips. They're not gonna have the longest battery life. They are, however, very good for achieving the highest possible performance in games. And also if you're a student or recent grad and you want a device that's you know, reasonably portable, but has excellent performance for like 3D work or engineering stuff or math stuff, like something like this, it would fit the ticket. 
portable, yet really high performance. Okay, these laptops also run Lenovo's new AI chips, the slim models running the newest version of it, the LA3, and these chips have scenario detection and other tools to boost the performance of the device when it's under load. Now, a quick note about the keyboard, this is a Lenovo Legion keyboard, and as you'd expect, it's awesome. I think it's because Lenovo owns ThinkPad and all the IP around the ThinkPad keyboards just trickle down to this device. So uh, very easy to type on and very fast and responsive. Now the shortcut game is always, it always surprises me that these are the only guys that do this. When you press function, all the shortcuttable keys light up, right? So I can switch between the different keyboard profiles. I can get some flashy RGB. I can change the brightness of the RGB, but also you can change between the fan profiles with just a shortcut, I've always loved that. And even the screen refresh rate, if you wanna go from like 60 to 240 hertz and then back is just a shortcut. You don't have to mess around in Windows settings and stuff, it's really nice. Uh, the screen, awesome screens. Both these devices use PureSight gaming displays that have options to go up to 240 hertz with great color gamut and brightness. They're awesome for playing games and watching shows. Uh, the port selection between the two devices is a little bit different. The Pro model has an ethernet jack. The regular model doesn't, but it does have an SD card slot. And obviously there's a few differences in the USB-A and USB-C configurations, but they're both kind of aimed at the appropriate audience, I would say. Uh, but there you have it, the new Legion 7i and Legion Pro 7i.